Hi everyone, I'm Ofa Langa and welcome you all in Grammar and Detail. If you are new and not subscribe the channel, so subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get some more videos about grammar. Today we will be discussing the 11th kind of adjective that is known as phrasal adjectives. And we have got today the 11th one that is known as phrasal adjectives. What is the definition? When two or three words or adjectives together modify a noun are called phrasal adjectives you know when there are two or three sometimes it can be three words together clear or adjectives they can also be adjectives together modify a noun you know actually adjective is one word which adds something in the meaning of noun or pronoun but what do we mean by phrasal what is Phrasal. This word phrasal is taken from the word phrase. And what is phrase? A, a group of words which has no subject, no predicate and does not give clear and complete meaning. Clear. That is called phrase. So phrasal adjectives means by the word phrasal we can come to know that it is a phrase and group of words. And actually adjective is one word which adds something in the meaning of noun which we have been discussing in 10 kinds. But over here, you know, phrasal adjective is what group of words or maybe adjectives together modify a noun are called phrasal adjectives. So what are phrasal adjectives? They are the group of words together modifying them. And it is, you know, very sensitive and how you will use it. Uh, sometimes students commit a lot of mistakes by making the sentences of phrasal adjectives. So today I will make your concept clear about all of them where it will be correct and where it will be incorrect so let's discuss you know here it is a simple sentence we have got a course of 10 months it is correct clear and here we have got a 10 month now see over here a 10 month i is there an article 10 is an adjective month is a noun so there are 10 month clear it is three group of words together which is adding something in the meaning of course noun is known as phrasal adjective now the word i've written in green that is your phrasal adjective here it is a simple sentence it is also correct uh, we have got a course of 10 months see over there months is coming but over there you will not say months a 10 months course we have got a 10 month course not months course clear so for example here we have got a 10 months course this one you will not say you will not put a plural with the phrasal adjective clear so you will say we have got a 10 month course not a 10 months course because you are saying a 10 and there is no need to say months so there this one will be wrong you will say we have got a course of three months that is also correct we have got a 10 month course that is correct but if you say we have got a 10 months course that is wrong so keep in your mind the mid one examples whatever we have written those are known as your phrasal adjectives now we have got the second example he is coming to quota on a visit of three days that is also correct he is coming to quota on a visit of three days and how can you use it as phrasal adjective he is coming to Quetta on three day visit. Clear? On three day visit. So over here it is group of two words. Adding something in the meaning of visit and uh, describing it. Clear? So when anything adds something in the meaning of noun already that is called adjective. So here it is a phrase which is adding something in the meaning of visit. So we call it phrasal adjective. And keep in your mind if you said he is coming to Quetta on three days visit. That is wrong. And here a lot of students commit mistakes. That should be in your mind. Three day visit not three days visit. So there is no need to put S over here. If you put it that will be wrong. Next and the last example we have got. You were having a training of seven weeks. Correct. 
you were having a seven week training now see you are there a seven week group of three words adding something in the meaning of noun and seven is your adjective keep in your mind in the same way uh, three is your adjective and ten is your adjective they are called numeral adjectives and in numeral they are called definite numeral then in definite numeral they are called cardinal adjectives which you will be using over here in phrasal adjectives in order to mention the date time etc see we were having a seven week training so a seven week is adding something in the meaning of training and describing your noun training that is known as phrasal adjective and if you say we were having a seven weeks visit that will be wrong s is not going to be put with your word week clear so hope you got today's lecture wish you best of luck see you next time with next lecture goodbye